when he hits your foot again. When he hits your foot again, hit me with, hit me with music now. Hit me with music now, this is a trench stone rock. and subscribers walk one Zion coming at you again with another tutorial now do me a favor if you really want to support a brother turn off that ad blocker do it now secondly hit the thumbs up button third share the video last but definitely not least remember to subscribe to the channel I can see if you're a subscriber I can see hit the notification bell hit all so whenever I post a new video tutorial whatever I put here on YouTube you will be the first to know you'll be notified now it's been a while since I've done a um, acoustic you know tutorial that's one of the main reasons I got this tailor probably about two months now <laughs> I know I know I promised that I would plug some in but you know ain't no better time than the right time and the right time is now now I'm gonna teach you guys how to play Bob Marley's trench tone rock an acoustic guitar with a little bit of twist you know a little bit of groove you know something that i arranged you know i hope you guys enjoy this one grab your guitars let's go So Bob Marley trench stone rock acoustic guitar. Now, for me, I do not like to just play, um, when it comes to reggae music, you know, I like to have a little bit of groove, a little bit of bass line, a little bit of something added to, you know, just, you know, I prefer not just playing cards, if you understand what I mean, right? So when I arrange all my acoustic songs, if you listen, I mean, there is something to it, something that makes it like groovy, all right? Not tooting my own horn, but, you know it just needs to be filled out and everything so that's exactly what i did and i kind of did the same thing with this but not i didn't go too hard because normally i do some finger picking type of stuff and you know which some people find very hard by the way if you would like to learn a lot more than what is on the channel there there's some information at the starting of the video as well as it's going to be at the end of the video you know you know you can check that out and link me up and book your private lessons all right but do remember to watch the entire video so you can learn everything all right so here we go trench stone rock you know we're gonna start so we're gonna play in open cards you know because we haven't been playing doing much of the open cards for people that really like to play open cards you know it's not really my favorite thing but you know let's just Let's share, let's care. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, alright. So, this song, Trench Stone Rock, let's say we're in the key of G, we're starting on G. Everybody should know how to form their G. Like, do you want to point, use the pointer finger? Well, let's just get to the arm, the cards first, and then we can get to farming them. So, so that's uh, G. B F C So one good thing about music when it hits you feel no pain You know I'm gonna go so hit me with music It's the same thing Hit 
me with music now So it's a G To the A To the, to the D To the F To the C Again G To the D F To the C Then you go Trench stone rock You start there on the C Don't watch that to the G, trench stone, not trench stone rock, trench stone rock to the G, trench stone rock, trench stone rock. You know, but of course there's some little passing because I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm almost sure you guys can hear that. I'm ready. So you know, I add those passing cards. You know, so. We're going to get to that right now. But to form the main cards, G, point a finger on the sec at the second fret, fifth string, middle finger on the sixth string, third fret, ring finger on the second string, third fret, and the pinky finger on the first string, third fret. That's a G. Of course, you can lift the middle down um, the ring finger. Give that sweet song. So that's your G. Then your D. Point a finger on third string, second fret, middle finger, first string, second fret, ring finger, second string, third fret. And you're not strumming all the way from here. You're strumming from the fourth string. To D. Now for your F, some people will play like this. You know, they're gonna tell you like that's it for the open, which is the pointer finger, second string, first fret, middle finger, third string, second fret, ring finger, fourth string, third fret. I do not use it like that. Do I bar it? All right, so you want to bar the first fret, place the middle finger on the third string, second fret, pinky finger on the fourth string, third fret, ring finger on the fifth string, third fret. And you'll see why I do it like this. So the next card is going to be the C. So you see the second string, Point a finger on the second string, first fret. Middle finger on the fourth string, second fret. Ring finger on the fifth string, third fret. And that is your C. Okay? So instead of strumming it like this, Now, a lot of people have difficulty strumming open strings because they cannot get it to mute. All right? Of course, especially with a G. So if you're gonna, it's still gonna ring. So now the magic is in the palm. All right, you're gonna use a palm to mute here, but you have to know exactly when. So when you go, bring it back. I'm bringing it back really quick. You know, look at that. It's back there. It's not a. It's gonna take too long. Okay, so, but of course I wanted to groove a little bit, so I do not play one. I, you know, I kind of up down, up down. I mean, it's still reggae. You know, not really like not, not really the reggae strong, but I mean, you're playing an acoustic and it's you only. Now, if you're playing with a band or, you know, probably a three-piece, you probably want to do the... You know what I mean? Otherwise... But I 
again, my palm comes back real quick. Now, how much it rings out depends on you and how much pressure you add here on the palm, with the palm, all right? So be mindful of that. So here we go. You know what I mean? So you got it. So here we go now. Good thing about music when it hits. You know. So listen for the changes. So you're gonna squeeze and release. You know? So again. You know, that's basically the chorus. And um but now we're gonna add that sweet song. So here we here we go, listen to this. See that? So when you get to that C, you want to use the pinky finger to hit that G note, the sixth string, third fret. So, see that? So here we go. I'm going to go slow. Okay, and that's basically it for that part. So when it goes, hit me with music, it's the same thing. Hit me with, hit me with music, hit me with music. This is a trench tone rock. You stay there on the C, trench tone rock. Now this is where you're gonna make some moves. All right, so you go, trench tone rock. So what I'm playing the I'm playing C C F C G. No, with the G I do not play it. Well of course if you want to do that, but I just play those two notes of um fifth string, second fret, um, second fret, and uh, sixth string, third fret. I just split, I just use the beats. So we go change tone. So when you go, Trenchstone Rock. So again, Trenchstone Rock. Again, slow, Trenchstone Rock. F, C, C, up stroke. F, F, C, 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 up, up. Trenchstone Rock, so G. F C F C C G F C F C C G F up up C F F C C G F. Then you want to move now to where they go. Grooving. So I'm trying not to make this tutorial too long. Grooving. Now that's your A minor. So what I do, I play, I play the A minor. 
but I put it more here now because we're dealing with dynamics. So you know what I mean? I could always do. But now it sounds thinner. You know? So you wanna then when it get back to that D, now you're gonna play D minor, not D. So D minor, you point a finger on the first fret, first string, middle finger on the third third string, second fret, and ring finger on the second string, third fret. That's your D minor. Your A minor, point a finger on the second string, first fret, ring finger on the third string, second fret, middle finger on the fourth string, seven, um, second fret, my bad. So, the groove Now I also add some sugar there. So you go. I'm play. That's my I use a pinky finger. This is where you need to strengthen the pinky finger, you know what I mean? So Okay. So that's Fifth string, fifth string, second fret to third fret. You know, so you're gonna groove it with that. You do not have to do it, you can just keep the A minor. You know, you can do the little, little stuff. D minor, I highly recommend this part. So when I get to the D minor, you want to leave from here and come up here a little bit more. You see? Sadu. Sadu. Pay attention to the point of finger. Sadu. Down, up, down, up, up, back to the A minor. Down, up. Again. Okay, that is that part. So, I mean, if you do not know the structure of the song because it would be silly for me to sit here and sing the whole song it's gonna take probably this tutorial would probably take like 30 minutes and who wanna sit down and watch a 30 minute tutorial right you wanna just get straight to the point okay so yeah go back and listen to the structure of the song you will hear the changes it doesn't go anywhere else so after you don't Jump to the G now. You go right back into what I taught you before. So yeah, that's basically it. That's basically it for the song. You know, just remember to add. Use a pinky finger and the strumming is most important. Now remember, you want to go slow and not too fast you want to go slow and not too fast whenever you're practicing go slow first do not try to speed into it don't do that and then wonder why you're not getting it you're not getting it because you're trying to go too fast so slow slow it all the way down
This is a trench stone rock Trench stone rock Slow it down Groove And that's basically it for that song. All right, anacoustic, my version. Bless upon yourself. Keep safe. Go on and be great. Yeah, man.